For the last 10 seasons, I've managed Birmingham United with the goal of making them the best team in England. But time is running out because I'm announcing I'm leaving the club at the end of this season, which means it's our final opportunity for success. And with Champions League this season, plus our domestic competitions, it means we have four chances to leave a winning legacy here at the club. Now we've assembled the perfect team. In fact, we're rated in the top five teams in the league right now. But we can improve even more because with Champions League money, we have insane amounts to spend this summer. So let's get right down to business. I wanna bring back club legend Jacob Shepard for one last dance at the club. Now this guy led the club through some of its darkest days. He was our vice captain at a very young age and led the team up to the championship. His iconic long-ranged shots and good attitude are going to be welcomed back at the club, and we hope that his arrival will help this team become the best in the country. I'm paying whatever it takes, and a club record 66 million later, we have our new central midfielder. Welcome back to the club, Jacob Shepard. Unfortunately, he's going to miss the first few weeks with injury, but I plan for this guy to be a star player this season. And that's not all. I also bring in backup striker Konstantin Schumacher and center back Daniel Hood to round out the rest of our bench. And now we've got a team that I think can really push for all four competitions this year. Well, this is it. We have one final season to make Birmingham United the best team in England. Let's make sure it's a special one. Well, we couldn't ask for a better start to this season as some of our star players like Arthur Bowden and Jazzy Parker hit the ground running. There's no doubting these guys are absolutely world-class now. And I think our biggest challenge this season is gonna be resting our star players enough to keep them fresh across all four competitions this season. Now it's early days, but we started well and there's a feeling we might actually be able to challenge for the league. But now we shift our focus over to the Champions League where we've gotten a surprisingly favorable group. AC Milan are the toughest opponents in our group and we take them on first and Jacob Shepard is finally back from injury. So we'll be hoping his arrival into the starting 11 can take this team to another level. And Shepard already looks pretty bright to start this match in the middle of the pitch. Looking mostly in control of this game, Shepard tries to take a shot from distance and a hugely poor touch from the goalkeeper sets him up for a dream debut goal and Jacob Shepard scores our first ever Champions League goal. And while Shepard may not be our captain as he was destined to be earlier on, our actual captain is also leading by example. Matthew Hobbs scores an amazing rip from distance, and from here, everything just seems to go our way. Jazzy Parker gets on the score sheet, Matthew Hobbs finds a second goal of his own, and then Kareem Amraoui sets up an inch-perfect cross for Jazzy Parker, who puts the final nail in the coffin. 5-0, and what a debut here for us in the Champions League. We managed to prove that's not just a one-off result, as we have another dominant performance in our second Champions League game, it's looking pretty likely that we'll go through to the knockout rounds already. And a lot of our amazing form is down to star players like Jazzy Parker and Arthur Bowden who have reached their potential and are genuinely world-class players. The only question is, can't we still be the same team when we have to rotate them out across competitions? And with new players like Schumacher and Freddie Best looking to make an impact in the team, there's a surprisingly large amount of pressure on our bench players to continue the form we've had all season as they get their starting chances here. And then Konstantin Schumacher answers the questions asked about him with a goal on his debut. I think this team is in really good hands. And we keep up the dominant displays against top teams like Liverpool. And at this point, it seems like no matter what gets thrown at us this season, we're finding success. So everything's gone great so far, but this is a real test of our resolve. We take on our rivals, Aston Villa, who are also fighting for a top of the league spot. The two games against our rivals this season could be very important. Last season was the first time ever that we finished above them in the English football pyramid. So they'll be looking to get out here and still show that they're a better team than us. Of course, we don't think so, but both teams are fairly comparable with the ratings of players we have. And Aston Villa are the first to get on the score sheet here. This could be a fiery game as for the first time this season, we see ourselves actually set back a goal. And then Aston Villa very much in control in this game, score the second and final goal of the game. For the first time this season, we taste defeat. And even worse, it's at the hands of our rivals. Well, that defeat has knocked us out of the top four completely. And now with the Champions League coming back, we need to get our minds back on track and show that that minor setback won't hurt the rest of our season. And as we make sure to keep rotating, Matthew Hobbs, the captain, will sit this one on the bench, which means Jacob Shepard wears the captain's armband for the first time in over five seasons. 
Will this team still be able to perform at the highest level with our usual captain not in the lineup? We need to rely on all of the players in this squad if we want to make a deep run in all competitions this season. And so far, Jacob Shepard's done a fantastic job pulling strings and leading from midfield and then finishes the move off with a fantastic goal. Now this is the kind of response we were looking for. We've had a really bright start to the Champions League and another win here against AC Milan would mean we top our group and go to the knockout rounds, but it's gonna take teamwork to get there. And as Arthur Bowden is absolutely flatlined with a challenge, we see something really special. The whole team gets involved and starts putting challenges back they are all out there fighting for each other and you can tell how much everyone has each other's back. And this kind of teamwork and chemistry is absolutely vital if we want to find success this season. And we see it even more on display here with the most beautiful passing sequence to find a goal in a very tight match. Birmingham United are the real deal and I think this game is the turning point that really showcases that. So we're officially through to the Champions League round of 16 where we'll take on Atletico Madrid but the team coming together means we've rallied and we're back in second place in the league. Everything's going according to plan. In fact, we've also made it to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup where we have our first chance at silverware. But when competitions get more serious, it's not always gonna be easy for us and we're clinging on here against a Brentford side that really give it their all. Thankfully, our goalkeeper Jefferson looks up to the challenge and as our team is finding it difficult to score, it just might take something a little unconventional to get ourselves through in this game. And then Konstantin Schumacher with the absolute determination to bulldoze his way through that back line. Now we have some world-class players in this squad, but the difference between this season and last is now we have some really good depth options who are making the difference in games like this when we're not starting our full strength team. And Freddie Best is the latest to capitalize at the end of the match here to settle things with an amazing full field run. And with players like Best and Schumacher leading by example, I think we're a really top team. So that's it confirmed. We're taking on Manchester City in the final of the Carabao Cup, but now it's back to the Champions League. We have big opposition in Atletico Madrid. Now this is our first ever time in the knockout stages of the Champions League, as opposed to Atletico Madrid, who have been here countless times and are still managed by Diego Simeone, who has drilled this side into being very experienced in the latter stages of competitions like this. And the difference is pretty clear from the get-go. Atletico Madrid are absolutely ruthless, and we find ourselves a goal down only 15 minutes into the game. And as we try to break down their defense, this is the most difficult time we've ever had creating chances. We're finding zero space in their third, and then Atletico Madrid sink us down even further with a second goal. This has been a disastrous start to the game. We go into the second 45, desperate to get something going here, but honestly, we've been completely out of this tie so far. We've genuinely been outclassed in virtually every single way. And then Atletico Madrid find a third. This is the worst possible start we could have asked for in this two-legged tie. And now we go into the second game, three goals down. But the problem with this season is we have no time to dwell on that because we have the Carabao Cup against Manchester City. We have to bounce back right away from that loss and get back to winning ways. And this is a special game for Jazzy Parker who played for Man City but never succeeded there. And now that he's become world class for us, he has a point to prove against his former club to show that both he and Birmingham United are the best in England. So here we go, Birmingham United, Manchester City. These two teams have played each other quite a few times over the course of this career. And generally speaking, they've been the better side. But now that we've grown so much and are looking to really prove ourselves this season, this might be our breakthrough opportunity. Jacob Shepard comes dangerously close here early in the game. And the pressure has been on Manchester City as we've honestly dominated the game so far. Kareem Amrawi with a cross to the back post for Bowden. Jazzy Parker, chance at the near post, puts it in the back of the net and right away fulfills his destiny. It's an absolutely brilliant start to the game from not only the team, but specifically Parker, who like I mentioned, has a point to prove out here tonight. And so far he's done exactly that. But Manchester City are still an incredible team. And as they dance through our back line, it's clear this game is far from over because they score the second goal and we're back on level terms. And with the tides now turning against us, Manchester City are looking more in control this game as time goes on and Holland comes so close to scoring a second, if not for a fantastic save from our goalkeeper, Jefferson, who's been outstanding this season. And off the counter attack, we're just looking for any scraps we can get here. 
because honestly, we've barely had any of the ball so far in the second half. Matthew Hobbs with the chance, little back heel for Lopez. The chance is saved, it was so close. But either way, it's a handball, unbelievable, and a little bit of luck to just go our way and maybe give us the chance to go in front here with only 10 minutes left in the game. It's going to be Jazzy Parker to step up and take this. Can he score for the second time against his former club? Yes, Jazzy Parker writes his name in Birmingham United history by securing us the Carabao Cup. And we can put that alongside the FA Cup victory from two seasons ago. And for a team that's only been around for 10 years now, we've had some incredible success. But our season is far from over. It's right back to the Champions League where we take on the second leg against Atletico Madrid. We have a 3-0 deficit to overcome. Now we have a huge task in front of us, but if any team is gonna be capable of coming back from a scoreline like this, I think Birmingham United is right up there with anyone in the world. We've been an incredible side all season long and have shown we can take down top teams by more than a few goals. We look back at the 5-0 against AC Milan at the beginning of the season, and we kick things off with a fiery start. Matthew Hobbs opens the scoring seven minutes in, and this game is well and truly on. We just have to keep cool heads and continue creating chances, because we've looked good so far in this game in front of the home fans. Little dink over the top finds Vargas, and it's just wide of the post. We had a little bit of luck go our way in the Carabao Cup final, but it seems like all of our luck has dried up as we're creating quality chances here. But outside that first goal, nothing is finding the back of the net. And the longer Atletico Madrid hang onto this game, the longer they look favorites. And then all it takes is one counterattack, one chance, and the goal that seals the deal. 4-1 is not a scoreline we can come back from, and we are kicked out of the Champions League. Well, that hurts, but we don't have any time to dwell on it because we still have a shot at the Premier League and the FA Cup, where we'll take on Liverpool up next in the quarterfinals. And if there's one thing you can say about this team, it's that they are incredibly strong mentally. Despite the incredibly disappointing loss in the Champions League, we bounce back right away and continue moving our way through the FA Cup. We follow this up with a win against West Ham in the semifinals to once again send us to a second FA Cup final. We won it two seasons ago, and now in our farewell season as manager, we could have a shot at a second FA Cup and don't rule the league out either. We have five games left and we're only four points off of top spot. Now so much of this season still up in the air. We could finish with only a care about cup or a domestic treble. And the way things are going, you feel like the momentum might be in our favor. Although the Champions League result against Atletico Madrid was a huge disappointment, it looks like it's really motivated the players and they are absolutely in top form to round out the season. And this could be potentially our final shot at the league with two games remaining against our rivals Aston Villa. A win here would take us top of the league, but anything less will likely be the end of our Premier League hopes. Now, if there was ever a season for us to win the Premier League, this would be it. Manchester City, I think, have won the league every single season in this career mode. And for whatever reason, they dropped off massively. And with them not being contenders, it means it's open for another team to finally win the league. And we have a real shot here against Aston Villa, who start really strong, but Jefferson makes an amazing save to keep us in the game here 27 minutes in. Aston Villa gave us a real tough time earlier in the season, and it is proving to be no different here. We're suffering through an intense amount of attack, but we see it through to the second half. Now we just need to find a goal of our own because if time runs out here, a draw still would not be enough to bring us top of the table. So we crank up the intensity, winning the ball high up the pitch, and Jacob Shepard with the overhead kick is saved by the Villa goalkeeper. It's unbelievable. We're starting to run out of time here late in the game. Desperate for a goal, Jazzy Parker drives into the box. The shot is deflected and out. We simply cannot catch a break. Is this gonna be how our story with Birmingham United ends? Or will we be able to find some late, late magic here? We're looking for the ball out and Martino with the long opportunity, maybe one more chance, but no, the whistle blows and Villa managed to cling on for the draw, meaning we don't go top of the league and it's all gonna come down to the final game. But with us level on points with Spurs and Chelsea, it's gonna take some luck on the final day of the season if we wanna win the league. But for not the first time this season, we can't dwell on that poor result because now we have a cup final to focus on. Can Birmingham United do the unthinkable and win both cup competitions this season in addition to maybe the league? We could still have the domestic treble and Jacob Shepard gets us off to an incredible start. 
Being comfortable playing out from the back is an invaluable skill at this level, and Birmingham United are thriving playing this style. As we spring off the counterattack here, Matthew Hobbs gets the chance, cut inside, and a shot might seal the deal with only 15 minutes left. We go up 2-0. All we gotta do is avoid conceding goals here, and there's not a whole lot of time left. Leeds United are trying their very best, but again, our center backs are like a wall out there. A little aggressive at times, but it's paying off, and we are keeping clean sheets in big games. And as Jefferson plays out from the back, this is just everything we've been building towards, guys. Every single player in this team has their role, and Matthew Hobbs, the captain, with the chance to seal the deal. 3-0, an incredible cup win. We've done the double, the Carabao Cup, then the FA Cup, and Birmingham United are having a fantastic end to the season. Now, can we finish it all off with the Premier League? And it's all gonna come down to the final day of the season against Manchester City. 10 seasons ago, we set out to turn Birmingham United into England's best team. We started from the bottom with no-name players like Jazzy Parker, Jacob Shepard, and Diego Vargas, and they led us to success in the bottom divisions. But as the years went on, these players outgrew our team and left for bigger clubs, and other players showed that their attitude or abilities on the pitch weren't good enough to take us to the top. And now that we're here with some new stars and some old faces that have come back to the club, we're ready for the biggest challenge. A win here in Birmingham United could reach our spectacular goal of becoming the best team in England. Well, here we go. Our final ever game in charge of Birmingham United. And it is our single most important by a landslide. Our goal of becoming the best team in England is completely dependent on us winning this single game and then maybe a little bit of luck on top of that for the other teams to either drop points or have a worse goal differential than us. So scoring a lot of goals here could be important tonight as well, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Manchester City look really sharp and have had a couple good opening chances. Fortunately, we've managed to survive the onslaught here, but I don't know how long we can manage that for. We're about half an hour into the game and Really, nothing has clicked yet. We're not looking in great shape as Birmingham United continue to try to find space and City is really packing it in defensively. But then the clever little flick from Kareem Amrawi sets up Diego Vargas who scores the opening goal of the game and Vargas finishes his redemption arc after being a problem in the dressing room in season one, leaving the club, scoring against us to effectively relegate Birmingham United a few seasons ago, and now he's back and scoring for us in our most important game ever. Whew, this is an unbelievable story that's unfolding, but Manchester City still has a lot to say in this game. As we creep into the second half, it's offsides, but Holland came dangerously close to scoring in that opportunity. Can our defense keep their composure for one final game? I know we haven't had the best defense overall in this career, but this season it's really clicked as Sean Gibbs and Kyle Correa lock down those center back spots. And now off the counter attack, Jazzy Parker has the chance. The shot from a tight angle, oh my God, it's in. Jazzy Parker scores against the run of play. Birmingham United find our second, and it looks like we just might be on our way to securing a victory here with only half an hour left. The game's gotten more than a little chaotic as both teams are looking for goals. City wants to level things up and they're trying their best, but Jefferson makes another great save as we hope to find another goal of our own. Cause like I said, goal difference will matter here. If we could find a third, that might go a long way to seeing us potentially go top of the league after this game. But time is running out. We only have seconds remaining here as Jazzy Parker's pushed off the ball. Both teams are going back and forth here as time runs out. Maybe one final chance. Jacob Shepard looking to shape up for the shot. He's pushed off of it and that's gonna be time. But the question is, have we won the league or not? And the crowd's going crazy. It looks like we've done it. And oh my God, Birmingham United have pulled it off. We had to rely on results elsewhere, but finally we are the best team in England. From League Two all the way up to the Premier League and now securing the domestic treble in an absolutely insane final season here. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you so much for the support on this series and for watching. I'll be back soon with my first career for FC24 and I hope to see you all there.